We're now going to create a subassembly of the wheel block and the wheels. To do this, I'll go to the lower left corner, click on the plus from the pop-up menu, choose create assembly. I now have assembly one, you notice, as a tab. In my assembly window, I can use the insert tool, and this shows me a list of all of the parts that are in this document, and I'm going to choose the wheel block and click once to place that uh, into the assembly. Also I want some wheels, so I'll click on wheel and click in the assembly window, wheel again, click in the assembly window, and then close my insert menu. So in this case we're going to assemble these items and we'll look at how we can create an axle, another part, in context during our assembly. So next we're going to mate the wheels to the wheel block in the relationship that we want. I'm going to use a revolute mate because I want them to be able to turn. I'll set my first mate at the end of the axle hole in the wheel block. So I want to make sure I just have that axle hole itself and I'll click for my first mate and then go to the wheel itself and I want to make sure I have just the end of the hole uh, I'm going to look at the front view to see the relationship is, and I don't want the wheel to be tight against the wheel block. So we'll use an offset and we'll say 1 32nd of an inch, and that'll give a little bit of space so the wheel will be able to turn. I'll accept that one. Now I need to create the, a similar mate, the same mate on the other side. We'll use a revolute, again, the end of the axle hole and the end of the hole in the uh, wheel. So we'll look at a front view. Let's hit solve to put that up there. Again, we want an offset, uh, 1 32nd of an inch. I'll hit enter. I don't think I got that right. One thirty second. Solve. Okay, I see that space in between. That's the relationship that I want. And so I'll accept that and go to isometric. Now, I have the wheel set with the mate that I want, but I need an axle to go in. And we're going to create this axle in context during an assembly. To do this, I'm going to need a mate connector. So I'm going to create a mate connector on the end of this wheel. So I'm going to go right to the end of that hole, create a mate connector. You see it show up here under my mate features. I'll accept that, and this is what I need to be able to create my axle in context. On my menu here, I'm going to create a part studio in context. I get a box here that says the origin of the new part studio. I'm going to choose that mate connector and accept it. So now I'm back in a part studio but I can see the, the parts in my assembly uh, and use information from those when I'm creating this part. So in this case I'll start a new sketch. I'm going to be on the end of this wheel. Uh, I can right click and view normal to the sketch plane. I want to use, so I'll use my uh, use command, this hole that was in the wheel uh, for the axle, to define the axle. So we'll accept this sketch and then I'm going to go to isometric, not exactly the isometric that I wanted, Uh, I just want to be able to see this. And I'm going to use my extrude, choose that sketch. Uh, I don't want it going that direction. I'm going to go the other direction. It's not blind. I want to go up to the next face because I want to use the outside edge of this wheel as being the defining length of the part. 
So I'm using the information from my assembled pieces to help create this part. So I will accept that. I can see the axle has been created. I can click on insert, go to assembly. And now I'm back in my assembly and the axle has been inserted. Now once I'm here, I can grab that axle and you'll notice that the axle is not necessarily mated. I've used the information, but I haven't made, actually created the mates. So in this case, I'm going to use a fasten mate. I'm going to fasten this mate connector that I created earlier to the end of the axle. We'll solve this, put it back together. And we will accept that. I'm going to hide this mate connector so I don't have to look at it. And now I've created this wheel block. The wheels can spin, the axle is there, and this can be inserted into my airplane assembly.